Hello, this is Rusty Williamson with another cool tutorial. Today we'll be creating this at camera explosion. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll get right to it. File new, new project. We'll create a new composition. Give me 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Make it about four seconds is fine. We'll create a new solid. We'll call it solid particle. Make it a white solid. And say OK. We'll bring up our proportional grid. And we'll select our pen tool and create a shape like so. We want it to be a figure eight. So adjust your adjust your bars to have like two circles. It's a horrible color for the map. Change that to something a little bit brighter. We'll hit the F key and feather it out so it looks something like that. Get rid of our proportional grid. Select the layer and pre-compose it. Call it particle. Move all attributes to the new composition. Say OK and go back to our comp one. Create a new solid, call it particles with an S, plural. And add the effect. CC particle world. We'll hide our particle. Advance our timeline so we can see what we're doing. We'll go to the physics and change it to from explosive to fire, the animation type. Then we'll go to physics again because I missed it and change gravity to zero. And we'll open up particle, change it from line to texture faded disk. Then open up the texture properties and change it from none to our particle. Let's make sure we have gravity at absolutely zero. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll up the birth size until it turns solid in the center. And then we'll up the death size until it does the same thing around the outer edge. Now let's see what we've got. Okay. We'll find the point 
where it first reaches maximum diameter. And we'll add an adjustment layer. We'll add the effect time warp. Change it to 20. Change the speed to 20 percent. And we'll slide this adjustment layer over so it's even with our timeline cursor. Now let's see what we've got. All right, we'll select all these layers, we'll pre-compose it, and call it shape. We'll come back to our comp one, create a new layer, a new solid, and call this solid noise. We'll add the effect fractal noise. We'll change the fractal type from basic to dynamic progressive. We'll up the contrast a bit. And down the brightness a little bit. So we have something that looks like that. Let's see. Well, I'll click the evolution and enter time times 350. And we'll go back to our, let's see. Uh, actually, the best thing to do is go to take our noise layer and drop it below the shape layer. Bring it up to the explosion's largest width. And open up the transform properties and let's scale this, let's scale it up a bit. Okay. And then we'll click the stopwatch on the scale. Bring it down to frame zero and lower the scale to about there. All right, now we want to select the noise layer and set the task mat to alpha mat shape. Now let's see what we have. All right. Select both layers, pre-compose, and call this texture. Go back to our comp one. And let's add the effect color CC, I mean, uh, wait a VC color vibrance, a free plugin from Video Copilot. Go to our apex by going
going to our shape comp and placing the timeline right where the layer is, the adjustment layer. And then we'll go back to our comp. It'll be at the same spot. We'll change the color to a fiery color. Something like that. And then we will click on the color stopwatch. I want it to fade to gray. So we'll go to about the two second mark. Click on the color and fade it off to a dull gray. Maybe with just a touch of color. Let's see what we've got. Might need to fade the gray faster. We'll see. Push you so we can see our keyframes. Select both keyframes. Slide them in just a few frames. All right. We'll hit T to bring up the transparency. We'll go to about the one second mark. Keyframe the opacity. And go to about the two second mark and set the opacity to zero. Now let's see what it looks like. And it doesn't fade fast enough. We'll bring in this keyframe a little bit. That's better. We'll select this layer and pre-compose it and call it base. Move all the attributes, say OK. Come back to our comp one. And then we'll bring out the, bring it out until we hit the apex. Right there. We'll select the layer, select right click, and then select time, time remapping. And we'll set a keyframe right where we place the timeline. We'll shift click on the last one so we have both selected and we'll bring them in. About like so. Now let's see what we have. That looks pretty good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please post them in the comments below. If you liked or learned anything in this tutorial, please give it a like. Till the next one, I'll see you then.